Hey guys, it's Riley. How are you all today? I haven't even looked in the mirror yet today, so I probably look like a mess. I'm so sorry I haven't posted in like two weeks. I've been so busy. I start school on Wednesday. I've been applying for jobs. There's just so much stuff that I've had to get done. But I figured, hey, I have time today. Let's film a video for you guys. Today's video is going to be my all-time favorite movies. I'm going to give you my top five favorite movies, and I am going to go through why I like them and why they are important to me. Five on the list is Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice was one of my favorite horror films as a kid. I loved it because it freaked me out. It was a movie made in the 80s, I think, and it's just very genuinely creepy. It scared me to death as a kid, but I absolutely loved it. Number four happens to be The Fault in Our Stars. The Fault in Our Stars is such a good movie. It is an amazing movie and it's a really good representation of the book even if they did leave some stuff out. It's just very good and heartwarming and also heartbreaking. But if you're into like romantic comedies and stuff like that, The Fault in Our Stars is a really great movie and I absolutely, I adore it. The next movie I have on here is actually a two movie series type thing and that is Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters is my go-to movie. It doesn't matter what I'm feeling. If I want to watch a movie, I watch Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters is just, it's so funny and genuinely horrible. It makes me feel better. It's just, it's one of those things that I enjoy so, so much and it I can't really explain how much I like it, but this is a set of the first two. I watch them all the time, at least twice a week. At least. Number two on my favorite movies, you can kind of tell it's a little bit much. Um, the This is the entire Harry Potter series. I grew up with these movies, and they kind of got me through a lot of really hard times. And I, it's really hard to explain because these are more like close to my heart and have different reasons, but it's not reasons that I can particularly explain. They just got me through so much when I was in a really bad depressed state. And these eight films have made so much of a difference to me. And I honestly don't think I could live without them. The number one movie, my all time favorite movie as of right now, and as of a while now, is um, The Perks of Being a Wallflower. I relate to this movie so much. The main character, Charlie, deals with some mental issues. I don't want to go like into detail if you haven't seen it or read it. The book was one of my favorite books, um, and the movie is just so good with that as well. And I can relate to this movie so much. It hits home, and it means absolute, so much to me because it's... A representation of mental illness that you don't see usually and while it is something different than what I have dealt with it's something that I can also relate to and it's a very important thing to be out there well guys thank you for watching those were my all-time favorite movies and reasons why I really hope you enjoyed this video even though it was kind of short not really interesting I just kind of needed to throw something together for you guys so I hope you enjoyed um, Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and do all that you do, and I will catch you later.